day four. All right. Let me just. All right. <clears throat> so, as you will have seen, I was up very early this morning and tackled my oven. Um, not an especially fun cleaning job, but honestly, just one that makes me feel so much better about the overall cleanliness of my kitchen when it's done. And I don't do it nearly as often as I probably should because I don't have a self-cleaning oven. So the process to just do it is really obnoxious, but um, it came out really well. I thought I found an amazing woman on YouTube. Oh, sorry, the furnace just kicked on. Um, I found this amazing woman if I can, uh, I'll try to find the video again and link it below, but I believe she's like a professional house cleaner. And so she was like reviewing the Easy Off Oven product, but also um, she had what she was calling like her work smart, not hard tools and like the supplemental things and the process that she uses um, for professionally cleaning residential ovens. And so um, I've never really, done it the way that she recommended and I've never really had great luck with what I have tried so um, I thought I'd give it a go and I was really impressed so um, very cool but I will link that down below if that's a chore that y'all need to get done um, I'm not even really thinking I'm hosting any of the holidays this year at my house but if you are hosting um, having the oven clean is always nice for like cooking those big holiday meals that are gonna be here before we know it so um, but that is done. That was done by like 8 a.m. No, it's 8.10 now, 8.15. I think I actually had that done by like 7.45, 7.30. Um, oh dear, and I've got some, I'm gonna have to clean my watch screen now too because I think I've got some spray on there. So for today, as we previously mentioned, I have loads of closet building to do. If I'm going to do the entire thing, I'm estimating it's gonna take me about six hours to get through all of it. Um, so I may spend a significant amount of time doing that. It is football Sunday, so I'm sure Ricky's going to be watching um, some football. And so I you know, won't have anything else to do in the afternoon. I'm um, not a huge football fan, not the way I used to be. But for starters, I wanted to try and get some exercise in since I took yesterday off. Um, just being mindful of the situation with my lower back and my left knee. Um, I did go for a walk last night and I noticed a couple of times my left knee just really wasn't happy and uh, not in like a painful way, but like I was describing to you guys yesterday in the way that it seems as though the whole kinetic chain on the left side from hip to foot is kind of relearning how to work together. So I thought I would focus mostly on core today and if I do anything that upsets my knee, I'll just go ahead and stop, but at least I'll get something in. So that's what we're gonna do for now, and then it's gonna be a shower. And um, before I get to work on my closet, I think I have some new beauty products that I wanted to share with you guys as well. So we'll be doing that here shortly.
Okay, that was a really awesome workout, and I just wanted to um, tell you some, a little bit about my favorite new products that I've been using in my workouts because sometimes it's just nice to get your heart rate up really quickly while you're doing strengthening exercises. So my new favorite for that has been slam balls, which is what you saw me throwing down over my head and then also using the lighter weight one for some bicycles. Um, I picked up these from ProSource Fit and um, was surprised that they even had them in stock because of COVID and um, home gym, home workout equipment has been sold out everywhere and I was really surprised at the affordability of ProSource but also um, the quality. Like this is a really nice slam ball with really good tread, really good weight. Um, just the way that it's evenly distributed. Like if you've ever picked up like a wonky basketball that doesn't dribble straight, um, the heavy slam ball here came in perfect. And then another item from ProSource Fit. I talked about these in my September favorites video. Um, I was just doing the side to side squats with these around um, my thighs. These are really heavy duty. You won't find ones like this in a gym because they're fabric. Um, so Jim's not going to be able to sanitize them properly, so they would, they're primarily going to be for like private use. But the fact that they are fabric lets them incorporate these grippy guys onto the inside so they don't slip. They don't slip and slide around the way that um, like the thinner uh, or rubbery bands do. Um, so these are really, really nice and there are, it comes in a pack with three um, different resistances. So I will link the pro source fit items in the description box below for you if you are interested in checking those out oh hello everyone it is now 3 35 on sunday afternoon and as predicted i have been building my closet oh since about 10 30 this morning um i did break an hour for lunch and um it feels like it's about seven o'clock because um brain clouds in the last 20 minutes just moved in and now the sky is completely covered in gray and it's raining um so unfortunately less daylight to work by in this room although you wouldn't know it looking at the camera it looks really bright in here um even though I feel like it's pretty dim compared to what it was earlier today so um I'm going to keep going and try to get at least the frame finished this afternoon and then start putting in the internal organizers and um, ideally ideally it would be really nice to have all of that finished so that way all of the building and the heavy lifting and things are done tonight and then I can just sort of fuss with um, where I want things to go um, and how I want everything to be organized of course I had some idea when I purchased all of the pieces because um, I had to give some thought to what was going to go where so I knew what I needed to order but um, actually putting everything in um, that's going to be the fun part. Not that this hasn't been fun, I actually do quite enjoy this kind of work. Um, can you hear the kittens fighting outside? They, um, they wrestle and uh, Maeve makes the most horrible noises and so I check on them all the time but it's funny because I feel like she always is able to get away when she wants, so I think it's maybe part of the kitten play. I don't know. Um, but I've had to keep them locked out because I've done countless of these today, and Maeve loves to chew on them. Loves it. I don't understand why, but I don't want her to hurt her little teeth and, huh, awful. Um, that and little, little pieces and plugs and whatnot, um, they go missing with kitten paws. So that is where I'm going to be for the rest of this afternoon. And I thought about showing you guys like a step-by-step -step as it comes together, but um, I think I would really more prefer to maybe take some step-by-step -step footage, even though I haven't and I'm already like halfway done, um, but just do like a big reveal when the whole room is finished and looking how I want it to look. Um, Maybe that'll be like the big like vlogtober finale, you know, as soon as I've got everything and do like the big reveal. Uh, it's interesting. I'm already kind of enjoying visualizing how this will come out. So um, that's where I'm going to sign off for vlogtober day four, four. 
I do remember that from Vlogmases. Eventually, it's like, I don't know, it's some day in December. So that's where we're at now, but Vlogtober, day four. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Click subscribe, and I will be back with you guys tomorrow. Bye.